Welcome to another episode of my series, Taking You Out. My name is Chloe George. I am a creative entrepreneur, friends lover, interior designer, lover of all things tech and digital, but most importantly, your new biz BFF. In this series, I will t- walk you through the ins and outs of the tech software you will need to automate, organize, and elevate your biz so you can get back to doing the things you love most, which is creating. So make sure to check it out. So much for coming back and joining me for another episode of the Tech and You Out series, um, the series where I teach creative entrepreneurs just like you to use tech to elevate their business. So today's topic, we are going to talk all about the podcast workflow using Trello. It's super important for your business to kind of have an organized workflow so that you don't miss the little missing pieces that are needed to just work through your podcast completely and e- efficiently. I'm not going to be looking over here because I'm going to be looking at my big screen. So in today's video, I'm not going to be looking over here. Hi again. I'm going to be looking this way. So I don't have my other webcam on for this monitor. So it's going to see the side of me. Hi. I'm going to look this way um, a few times. But what we're going to do today is we are going to go through your podcast workflow in Trello. I'm going to teach you how mine works, and we're going to kind of uh, discuss along the lines of why this is important for your podcast and for um, organizing all those little moving parts of your podcast. So um, I'm going to go into the podcast workflow and kind of why it's important. So I am a part of a few Facebook groups. We share ideas, we give um, advice, all types of things like that. You know what Facebook groups are. So in this particular one, um, they did ask, can y'all share the organization behind y'all's amazing podcast? How do you keep how do you keep up with guest invites, collaboration requests, confirmed guests, episode directions, questions, etc.? Um, this particular person is thinking of getting a whiteboard, share your behind the scenes pics. Now, for me, it's super important for your business, your your podcast, your your side hustle, your online business, your brick and mortar, whatever business that you have going on, you need to have it organized. It just needs to work. It needs to work better than what you're doing now. So for me, I use Trello and Trello just keeps everything in its place. It's organized and I can see where the process is from start to finish and on its way to being published. Now, this for me works like a well-oiled machine and it leaves out that middle person. However, you can bring in your If you do have a VA or a podcast producer, you can bring them on to your Trello board. And of course, I'm going to show you that. Okay, so now that you've gotten far, you're uploaded and you're scheduled, you've done the, let's say you've done the IG feed link, you've you've updated that, you have gone ahead and... um, done those moving pieces, you move it to posted, right? So it's posted. So now the last thing to do is promote it. And then of course, ask audience to review and subscribe wherever you promote it to. So I think they go hand in hand. Now, what you can do, again, remember I said this is customizable. This is a free podcast workflow template, but use this, please use this in the way that is beneficial to you and how you work. So if you decide to, let's say, create another um, list, Let's say you want this part to be promotions, right? Because let's just say that you have a social media manager or you have someone that kind of works through your workflows and um, they kind of do the, the promoting part for you. Or even if you do it yourself, but you kind of want to have it separate. You see how I've ended it here at published. Um, let's say you want these two parts to kind of be moved to the next step. So once it's posted, Obviously, once something is posted, you want to get it out there in the world, right? You want to create that. Hey, watch this thing. So we're going to move that over to promote. So we'll move it to promote. In this section, once you have all your moving pieces and whatever it is that you want to do, then you check off promoted. And then you ask your audience to review and subscribe or whatever else that you want to add to this checklist, please go ahead and do so, Um, whatever that looks like for you. And then the end, you can just go ahead and everything is done. Beautiful. You can do two things. You can go ahead and just archive this. 
um, we'll just go here and archive this. So once your episode is done, it's out there, it's promoted, all the things, all the moving parts are completely done. You just want to disappear that. But if you're like me and you like to see, you know, feel a little accomplished and stuff, make a done box, right? Everything, this is done. This is uploaded and done. Um, oops, let me change the direction. So I don't know why that came up. So once this is, once this is promoted, it's going to be moved over to done right? So what you're going to do is you're just going to, once everything's checked off here, you're going to hit actions, you're going to hit move, and you're going to move it to the done box, right? And you're going to go ahead and move it, and it'll show up here of everything that you've done. Um, once you get to a certain point, if you want to list you the last five episodes to show up on your done thing, then you can go ahead and archive it for good if you want to, and you can always unarchive it. Okay, um, so you can do it that way, how I just moved it, or you can physically move it. If you like physically moving stuff like I do and you enjoy the crap out of that, go ahead and physically move it. And so that in a nutshell is what your podcast workflow is. And I hope that you enjoy that, not only enjoy it, but really, really set the time to go ahead and use this to your advantage this is a uh, Trello boards or Trello in itself are completely free. This is going to keep your brain organized. It's going to make you more efficient when you, when it comes to recording your podcast. And you can really, really just focus on creating what you need to create um, with your message and build your community and not worry about these little things. Now, I do want to emphasize that Trello just like any other tech program is a learning curve, right? It's a learning curve. You may not know how to create a card. You may don't, whatever, you don't know how to share it, invite people, et cetera, et cetera. You don't know how to use stickers, all of that. And I want to tell you the fabulous news. Now I have, I got a doozy for you, okay? A doozy. So I am creating it's going to go live April 1st, sis. Joking on the sis thing. But I am creating a Trello course for you because I always I can't stress enough that you need to have your business organized. You cannot be out in the streets all unorganized and just wishing, praying that things work right and things flow right. So I've created the Trello course. Now, this is... Again, in beta, I'm going to create one of the freebies is this podcast workflow, but I want you to understand the importance of ha having a solid organization system to operate your business consistently and you're overwhelmed and don't know how to get started. If you're taking way too much time finding what you need and how to complete your tasks and projects, you're stressed, you take way too long to complete those projects, you don't feel in control of your business and your head is a cluttered mess, instead of running your businesses, your business is running you. So we need you to organize your business systems with this course, okay? So if you have, if you don't have a, a business dashboard, if you need a new process for onboarding your clients, if you need, a, again, the podcast workflow, on how that works, this is gonna be the course for you. And I want to, I can't stress enough that, this is a complete kick in your ass type of guide. Let's Marie Kondo your business here. This is not going to be f based on fluff. This is not going to be like, oh, this is how you organize on, you know, maybe this doesn't work for you. No, we're going to kick in your ass because it's time to stop playing small and get all those systems and everything organized. Okay. So this is not for you. And I want to stress that enough here as well. If you like to waste time rummaging through papers instead of running your business, if you prefer the old school way of doing things, okay? Typewriter, anyone? Like type, type, type? Not for me. I need my things to be automated, organized. And truthfully, if you like just to wing it in your business and you don't you don't mind missing out appointments and losing track of client information. I know for me, my clients are very important. I don't subscribe to missing out on their information and losing it and having to ask them again for something that they've already given me. So this is for you. 
if you aren't afraid to use tech systems to Marie Kondo your business. Let's Marie Kondo that shit, okay? If you love pep talk style courses and real techniques to help you organize your business, this is for you. And specifically, if you tried Trello before and you want even more, you want to know how to do things, how to make cards, stickers, how to really maximize Trello to organize all of your business, this is for you. And and if you're ready to stop playing small with your business and start acting big, this is definitely for you. So I want you to go ahead and actually, there's a link for the newsletter. It's going to take you to just subscribe so that you are notified when this course goes absolutely live. There will be a two week period where it's going to be a bonus and you will get a discount on it. So make sure that you sign up to the newsletter and you get on this newsletter so that you know when it's going to go live. So this is again, a Trello course. Um, this is to help you organize everything, kind of what I showed you with the podcast workflow. But if you're just here for the podcast workflow, which works too, it is in the description notes below so that you can go ahead, copy it and start your businesses so that you can grow that podcast and kind of get that all organized, okay? Um, Thank you so much for watching another episode with me of Teching You Out. Please leave me a comment below on what else you want me to cover, what kind, what system you want me to go over in these episodes. I'm going to do a few more cello ones, of course, because I've been asked for that. And um, just like, please like this video. It obviously helps the algorithm. I'm trying to grow this channel to 200 um, lovely followers, hopefully by the end of March. And I also want to get this video to more people. So thank you so much. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on another Tech New Out video next time.